Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I am in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota. And today, I'm checking out a 2016 Nexus RV. Absolutely amazing, luxurious, cross-country type vehicle you can actually live in. So, this is going to blow your mind, so let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, this one's set up. It has the sliders out. It has four sliders, two on each side. It has the jacks in place, automatic jacks that stabilize the vehicle while you're using it as kind of a house area. So here's the front. Check out that windshield. You got some serious visibility out of the front of the vehicle. It actually has two shades there in the front while you're parked so you don't have people peeking in on you. You can see it has a halogen reflector headlights here in the front. You have a Cummins diesel engine here in the front. We'll go ahead and show you that. So in the front you have a Cummins power diesel generator. And wow, check out those frames. Those are massive. And this powers the entire vehicle, refrigerator, microwave, washer and dryer, all kind of hot water, not the hot water heater, that's gas. But you get the idea, it powers the entire vehicle. Now this is actually a Freightliner chassis. You have four sliders, two on each side. And you see how those canopy, all the powered canopies here. You have a LED light canopy for your entrance right here. And here's your sliders on this side. You have a ton of compartments here on the bottom for what they call a basement, I guess. You can say it's kind of under the actual floor. So let's go ahead and check it out. There's really, really easy to access stuff. Now, one of the things I thought was neat is this is actually where the kitchen is and this opens up and there's your trash can. So you can take your trash out without actually carrying it out. You just reach in there and grab it, dump it and put it back in place under here. You have a compartment, pretty good size. Just kind of put random stuff, whatever you want. Now this one is a massive compartment. Look at that. It actually goes all the way to the other side. So you can put bicycles or pretty much anything you want there, really load it up. Now here's another one like that. It goes all the way to the other side. Now this one has a TV stand, so you can actually watch TV while you're outside the vehicle. Uh, there's no TV mounted right now, but you, you can actually mount one there. Right here is your fresh water connection. This is where you'd fill up your fresh water in case you need to, uh, you know, if you're not connected, you can, you can have a reserve of, I think it's 50 gallons, something like that. And then you have a water filter, carbon water filter. You have the ability to drain your tank too, if you need to. So down here, we have another compartment. This is your batteries. Now these will actually power the vehicle as far as the interior lights and a refrigerator, that kind of stuff for a certain amount of time. If you don't have any power and you don't want to run the generator, or you can't run the generator for some reason, there's an additional storage compartment here. All right, another storage compartment. They try to cram as much as they possibly can here for you. So you have a gas-powered, propane-powered uh, heater and a propane-powered hot water tank. So you have the uh, the exits here for for that. So here in the back, you have a massive radiator. Look at that. And this is where you'll find you your uh, your engine but check it out LED tail lights here and backup lights you have a, actually have a backup camera up here you also have a microphone so you can the driver can hear somebody back here uh, directing them as they're backing up chrome tailpipe towing package here for you know, flat towing a vehicle but check it out look at that radiator massive let's take a look here on this side and this is where you actually find a way to look at the engine. Now these are the batteries for the actual engine to start it. There's your air cleaner. Oh, 
Next compartment is your uh, power cord so you can plug in so you don't have to use your generator or your batteries. And this will actually charge your batteries too as well. Next compartment is your uh, DEF fluid. So it has a pretty good uh, tank there. Pretty good size tank for your DEF fluid. This is a uh, DEF fluid, if you're not familiar with that. It mixes with the exhaust to cut down on the emissions of a diesel engine. Okay, so here's your water connection uh, for like hooking up when you're staying overnight and there's a water hookup. You can hook up right there. You also have an outside shower and then your sewer uh, your sewer like waste ejection system is there as well not gonna demo that all right and so there's the other sides of these compartments that go all the way through and then you have this compartment here which has a storage compartment but also has your propane tank So here in the front compartment, you see you have some, uh, some fuses and some electrical connections there, as well as an air hose. And I'm wondering where the, if it has a, uh, an air pump somewhere, air compressor, I'm not sure, but uh, maybe. So some of these canopies are electric, but some of them are kind of conventional. So you can just kind of grab this strap and it goes up and down like so and actually use a, a pole to grab a hold of that and pull it down but I'm going to kind of leave it in place for now so entering the vehicle you can either use the key or you can use your key code here and as you open up the door you have a step that slides out to meet you and you have a screen door and a physical door and you can unlatch the physical door from the screen door like so and then you have this little pass through window in case you want to hand something to somebody or something like that all right so let's check out the steps here there's your walkway you have a handle here on the left you also have a handle there on the right to enter the vehicle check it out there's your cockpit command center there sofa which turns into a bed and you have a kitchen, complete kitchen, extravagant kitchen. All kinds of storage spaces here. You have this marble counter with a stainless steel sink. You can cover that up with these marble pieces here. Of course, you have a window in front of the sink while you're washing dishes. You have to be able to look out the window, of course. There's your trash receptacle, and that's where I showed you where the trash bin is. There's your lights, switches. You have all kinds of ambient light and direct light all over the place. So here's your stove top. And it actually has special cookware for that stove top. That's convenient. They kind of set it all up. It's one thing about buying one of these used, which this is a used vehicle. Uh, it has everything kind of set up for you and you can buy it quickly. Uh, sometimes you have to wait to have a custom one made, a new one, but this one's ready to go. You have a microwave, stainless steel. Refrigerator is really nice. Check it out. Now I want you in the comments if you I want you to uh, tell me if this is actually nicer than your house because this one is nicer than my house. So check it out. There's your freezer. This whole vehicle is amazing. So here's your TV, pretty good size. You also have a fireplace down here. It does have a satellite dish and an antenna. So your connections are up there out of the way. So over here on this side and check out all the storage places all over the place. There's your light switches here. I love those light switches. Kind of a blue color and you can just push the buttons there. So there's your table and your seating area which turns into a bed from what I understand. And there's a sofa, sofa there. There's the 
captain's quarters. Storage compartments above his head as well, his or hers. You also have a TV up here. Has a backup camera. There's your climate controls up here. Pretty traditional gauge cluster. Kind of old school gauge cluster there. Steering wheel controls. Check out this floor. Hardwood floor looks really nice. So the bedroom actually has a privacy door here and it's a pocket door with a kind of a translucent uh, window there. So let's go ahead and open that up and you can see the door actually slides into the wall and locks in place so it doesn't slide around on you. Here's your climate controls here and some switches for your, uh, for your sliders and stuff like that. And then your hallway is right here and you have a shower to the right and the bathroom to the left. So let's take a look at the shower first, why not? Has this carton to give you some privacy. And then, let's take a look here. Check it out. So you have a seat in your shower. There's your drain. Here's your hardware, place to put your soap, and a window in the top. And it's not completely clear. I don't think it is. It's where airplanes can't see on, in on you <laughs> while you're taking a shower. Okay, now let's take a look here in the bathroom and check out this the wood here. Looks really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom absolutely amazing check out the cabinets with the glass you have a nice fan at the top light fixtures you have the storage compartment window there's your toilet with a little flusher on the side that's neat okay so here's the bedroom you have some coat racks here climate control there's your lights little shelves here and check it out it's king size bed king size bed that's huge for an RV then you have some uh, some panels there for privacy but there's also a window that can uh, you can open up if you want to so you have a not quite a walk-in closet here but it's big and it's cedar lined too which we'll look at in a second check it out you have some more storage compartments over here TV shelving massive drawers down here at the bottom I mean check it out look how big those drawers are so you can put all your clothes I mean there's tons of places to put your stuff there's actually a storage compartment underneath this bed um, I don't want to lift it up I mean I'm not sure if there's an easier way but if I lifted it up and I saw a storage compartment under there so you, there's some storage space under there as well and then you have these cabinets which open up and you have these lights that turn on as you open up the door see little lights up there leds i'm assuming i'm not sure but then you have look at that tons of space and you can actually hang up clothes shirts or whatever same thing on the left side and then behind this door is you guessed it the washer and dryer now this is a special unit that will wash the clothes and then stop and then start drying them. So it actually wash and dry the clothes in the same machine. So isn't that convenient? And then you have a place to put stuff there at the top. And this is the cedar lined closet here. Look at that. So you have a cedar lining. You have a kind of a place to put stuff there on the side and then you have this floor here so this is really nice very impressive very impressive you have some more coat racks so there you have it 2016 nexus rv completely amazing vehicle with tons of convenience features there at Nexus, they must be genius as far as finding places for storage, 
and everything. So you can see massive amount of space in this vehicle. Really a luxurious RV. So thank you for watching and thank you to Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time.